Hello everybody. Not much of an update today, but what I do have to show you it took me every bit of four hours to make, so I guess it's worthy of your attention. That is the strip that holds the 70 circuit breakers that's on the edge of the flight engineer's table. So 70 times three is 210 holes. So 210 pilots plus 140 redrills on the, I think it was a 316th and then 30 more, or I'm sorry, 70 on the th hole for the, uh, the middle, which is three eighths. And of course I had to go back and uh, deburr them and everything. So that was fun. What's even funner is there's like going to be like a, let's see, a, a U channel that kind of gives it an edge. Oh, right there to there. And it covers up the, so you'll just see the breaker heads. And then there's going to be a fairing that goes like that down the entire length. So there's that thing out of the way. I've been dreading making that for a long time i'll just go ahead and walk around the other side why not right Definitely looking good, if I do say so myself. If it don't look good, it'll do to the good looking one gets here, I suppose. Oh, also have the, uh, the aft beam installed. Halfway, it's riveted. I can explain that, that's a good one. Go back over there. I think uh, 70, Circuit breakers weigh 14 pounds, so I don't know if I'm going to have to put any kind of triangulation in that. I don't see any evidence on the real aircraft of that, but if I do, so be it. It's pretty strong as is. 14 pounds is not that much for... I got a rivet in there every two inches, I think. Something like that. Yeah, uh, this main beam runs the entire length. It goes from bulkhead 1.1. I don't know if I've explained the bulkheads, but uh, now that I have a better understanding of them myself, the round ones, like this one, for example, this is 1.0. He he's in, encircles the entire fuselage. So he's 1.0. This bulkhead here is only half a bulkhead, which goes from here to the other side, actually level with the flight deck floor. That's bulkhead 1.1. And we'll come back here to, I believe it's right here. That's bulkhead 2.2. .2. He also, no, I'm sorry, 2, and he en encircles the entire fuselage. 2.1 and 2.2 .2 are also two have ones. And then, of course, bulkhead 3.0 he is and circulates the entire fuselage. And then six feet back at the end of the radio operating compartment is 4.0 and then 5 point and so on and so forth. I don't think there's any other, uh, I guess you'd point bulkheads or decimal bulkheads. But anyways, this, uh, I guess it's a long, longitudinal frame or a longeron, however you say it. On the real 36, I think it, it ties in there. I have photographic evidence of that. It's very faint, but it is there. Um, I built mine level. I think on the real 36, it, it kind of goes down. So this, what I did, is not entirely accurate because, like I said, it should be there and tie in. But, I mean, it's that's how they did it. I do believe that these frames tied into... Uh, bulkhead 2.2 and this guy's just kind of in the middle between 3.0 and 2.2 
but that's essentially exactly where they are on the real aircraft. Because I've got really good measurements of all of these panels. I mean, spot on. So it's kind of hard to mess up this placement. And I do know that it's 14 inches between that frame and that frame. So there she be. I'll see y'all next time.